Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Are you still running Windows 10 but want to upgrade to Windows 11, even if your PC doesn't meet the official system requirements? In today's tutorial, I'll show you a simple, safe method to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing your files, apps, or settings whether your hardware is supported or unsupported. We'll use Microsoft's media creation tool to download the right ISO, bypass hardware checks, and get you to the Windows 11 desktop. Let's get started and bring your PC up to speed with Windows 11. Step 1. Check your language and region settings. First, let's ensure your Windows 10 settings match the Windows 11 ISO will download, so you can keep your data during the upgrade. On your Windows 10 desktop, click the Start button, then the gear icon to open settings. Go to Time and Language then Region. Note your region and language for me, it's English United States. This is crucial because if the ISO language doesn't match, the option to keep your files might be greyed out and you'll lose your data. We'll make sure to download the matching ISO in the next step. Step 2. Download the Windows 11 ISO using the Media Creation Tool. Now, let's get the Windows 11 ISO the safe way using Microsoft's Media Creation Tool. Open your browser and search for Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. Click the first result from Microsoft.com and under Create Windows 11 Installation Media, click Download Now. Once downloaded, go to your Downloads folder, double-click the file likely called MediaCreationTool.exe and click Yes on the User Account Control Prompt. The tool will open and say it's getting things ready accept the terms and conditions, then wait a moment. When it shows language in addition, ensure it matches your settings from step one mine, says English United States, so I'll leave use the recommended options for this PC checked. Click Next. Select ISO file, click Next again, and choose a save location, I'll save it to my desktop. Click Save, and the tool will download and create the ISO. This might take a while depending on your internet speed, so grab a coffee. Once it's done, click Finish to close the tool. Step 3. Mount the ISO and prepare for the upgrade. With the ISO downloaded, let's mount it and start the upgrade. Open File Explorer, press Windows key, and Ethan go to your desktop or wherever you saved the ISO. Right-click the ISO file, it might be named something like Windows ISO, and select Mount. This will create a virtual drive, usually with a letter like F or G. Open this PC to see the new drive, Mines D. Double click it to view the files, and you'll see setup.exe among others. We'll use this to start the upgrade. Step 4 Run the setup with a command prompt trick. To bypass Windows 11's hardware requirements like TPM or CPU checks well, use a simple command. In the search bar, type CMD, right click command prompt, and select Run as administrator. In the command prompt, type your drive letter, followed by a colon, mine is D, so I'll type D colon, then press enter. Now, type setup.exe, space, forward slash product, space server, then press enter. This trick makes the setup think it's installing Windows Server, but don't worry it'll still install Windows 11. It's just a workaround for unsupported hardware, and it works on supported PCs too. Step 5. Start the upgrade and keep your data. The Windows Setup should now open, it might say Windows Server Setup, but again, it's installing Windows 11. Click Next. Now, accept the license terms. On the next screen, you'll see Choose What to Keep Select, Keep Personal Files, Apps and Settings, to ensure you don't lose anything. If this option is greyed out, double check that your ISO language matches your Windows 10 settings from step one. Click Next, and the setup will check your system. It'll bypass hardware requirements thanks to our command trick, confirm you have enough space, and show it's ready to install. Click Install to start the upgrade. Now, sit back and relax. This process can take 30 minutes to an hour depending on your PC. Your computer will restart a few times, 
and soon you'll be at the Windows 11 desktop with all your files and apps intact. If you're excited to get Windows 11 running on your PC, hit that subscribe button to join the passionate about tech community. Let's keep your tech journey going strong. Welcome to your new Windows 11 desktop. You should see your familiar files, apps and settings right where you left them. This method keeps the system stock, meaning it's fully bloated with pre-installed apps but that's intentional so you can decide what to keep. Step 7. Final tips for a smooth experience. A few final pointers to ensure your Windows 11 runs smoothly. First, check for updates go to Settings, Windows Update, and click Install or check for update to get the latest drivers and security patches. If you're on unsupported hardware, Microsoft might occasionally nag you about requirements, but you can ignore those it won't affect your system. You're now rocking Windows 11, even on unsupported hardware. If this tutorial helped you upgrade to Windows 11, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with passionate about tech. Drop a comment below did this method work for you or what Windows 11 tutorial do you want next? Thanks for watching, stay passionate about tech, and I'll see you in the next video.